Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I've been loving this month and a couple things that I picked up from Nordstrom and Sephora. So let's just get started. So I went to Nordstrom the other day and I wanted to pick up a few like replenishments of things that I needed. So the first thing I picked up was this Purity um, One Step Facial Cleanser, which you guys know from my skincare routine, this is what I use to melt off all my makeup at the end of the night. So um, I picked another one of these up because I only have a little bit left. So one of these. I also picked up the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser by Mario Badescu. I also featured this in my skincare routine as well. And I just love this to also just take off all my makeup and ensure that my face is really deep cleaned and this is what I use along with my Clarisonic. Also the toner that I use in my skincare video it's called Mario Badescu Special Cleansing Lotion C and I wanted to try a different type of toner because I know that your skin gets used to the things that you put on it. What I found was this cucumber cleansing lotion and it's a toner and it's weird it has like cucumber stuff floating around in there so when I picked it up I thought that something was wrong with it but actually it just has a few um, cucumber things in here so it says it's a cooling cleansing astringent for normal to oily skin disinfects and removes residue oil bacteria from skin surface to prevent breakouts so yeah I'm excited to use this I haven't tried it yet because I want to finish the rest of my other toner. I think I have just a tiny bit left, so I will keep you guys updated and let you know how I like this one here. Also, what I picked up was from Sephora. I picked up just another one of these Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balms. Looks like this. I'm almost done my other one and I just wanted to get a brand new one which I'm so happy about because I love these. I feel like I will always be repurchasing them. They make my lips so soft and give them just a touch of color which I love. And also I got two samples of the Immaculate Hourglass Foundation. This one is in Warm Beige and this one is in Honey. So we will see how they work. I have not tried them yet, but I am totally excited to try them and hopefully they work out for me and I will go back and purchase those. Also, I picked up from MAC another Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. My pump on my other concealer like keeps getting clogged, so I just picked up another one just in case. Since it is November now, um, all of last month I was losing my tan so I decided why not spray at home and I use Fake Bake and this is the one that I use. It's called Fake Bake Flawless and this one's a travel size so it's a really tiny little bottle. I'll show you what it looks like. Super small so that's why I'm almost out of it. I used it to death. Looks like that. It's like a tiny little guy. But um, the bigger size, I will be going back to purchase. And it comes with a mitt like, like this. And all you do is spray it on your body and then you rub it in. Sorry, it's really dirty now. Not dirty, but I mean, has tons of self tanner all over it. So I've been loving that. Definitely gonna go repurchase that. I tried to go repurchase it today actually at Ulta, but the line was ridiculous because it was the last day to use the 20% off coupon. So everybody and their mothers was in line. So I decided I would just get it another time. Not a big deal. So I've been loving that this month. Also a few products that I 
mentioned from my haul video not too long ago. I've been using so much this month and I've really been liking them a lot. I've been using this Revlon Lash Potion Grow Luscious Mascara and it's in the color Blackest Black and I just have been loving this mascara so much. I use it along with my fake lashes too when I wear them. The brush is very big. I love that. It's a little bit harder to put on your lower lashes, but it works just fine. I'm loving this Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder by NYC. It's in Montauk Bronze, and I use it along with this contour brush by Sedona Lace. It's the FB05, and it just fits perfectly in that contour area right here. And then I drag it along the perimeter of my face and down my neck and my jawline also. But I do want to pick up a different um, contour brush because this one's a little bit like too coarse, I would say. I would like maybe a little bit more of like a fluffy one. So I am in the market of, to buy a different one and I'll show you that when I do finally purchase one. This brush from MAC, the 188 Stippling Brush, oh my god, I love it so much. It's so soft and it just blends everything so flawlessly. I love it so 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 much if you're looking for a stippling brush definitely purchase this when you put all of your makeup on your foundation your bronzer your blush and your highlight or whatever it is that you're using that day and then blend it all together it just makes it look so good and natural and flawless and no harsh lines or anything like that so this stippling brush is freaking amazing I also mentioned this Mac gingerly blush I've been using it a lot this month I have it on right now and it's so pretty it looks so good with that bronzer that I mentioned and it just makes your face look so warm and it's really natural looking I would say so definitely been loving this it's a sheer tone blush by Mac on to hair products I have been loving this L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Um, I don't have that much left, just a little bit. It smells really good and because it is fall time and winter is coming up, your hair gets kind of dry so I like to use this maybe once a week in my hair as a deep conditioning treatment and then I leave it on for a little bit and wash it out but it's a thick thick like conditioner onto the end especially I don't put too too much on like the very top of my head but I do like to put it like in the middle of my hair and towards the end and then leave it on for a couple of minutes and then rinse it out and your hair just feels so soft and silky after Along with that I've been using this um, organic coconut oil it's looks like this inside it's like a thick pasty stuff I can't really explain it exactly it's like it looks like this but then when it gets like heat it melts into like an oil right into your hands or wherever and it's good for your lips and the ends of your hair and your skin everywhere so I take a little bit of that and I rub it in my hands till it becomes oil and I put it on the very ends of my hair and then sometimes run it through the rest of my hair but not too much because it'll make your hair really greasy which you don't want. Lastly, I'm going to talk about this Bath and Body Works Bacteria Gentle Foaming Hand Soap Love. It's called Fresh Sparkling Snow. They were having their big sale with their three wick candles for um, two for 22 and they're also doing their soaps for for 15 I think it was something like that and then six for like 20 something so I couldn't find like tons of the soaps that I really really liked so I picked up two of these one in the peppermint and then one in I think it was like pear but this one's definitely my favorite. I wanted to start off with this one because winter is approaching and I just want to get right into the spirit right away. This pumpkin caramel latte three wick candle. It is just amazing. It smells so, so good. Reminds me of some type of Starbucks drink. These like big oversized sweaters, which I've been loving this month to just throw with a pair of leggings and some combat boots. So these are from for Forever 21, I think they were like 27. And then I also got this big cream one, which I love. 
it's like that. And I believe this was also around $30. And my combat boots, these are from last year, but they are from Steve Madden. And they look like this. They have a red zipper in the back. And then they do fold, but I don't ever fold it down to this print here. So they normally always look like this. And I love them because they look kind of distressed. So they're like a black and gray color, which I love. And I believe these were like around 120, I want to say. Yeah, so those were all my products that I've been loving for October. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.